I think I'm really good in the bedroom. You've got, you've got experience with me when I'm sober, though. <laughs> like, yeah, honestly, if I'm drunk and that, honestly, it's just, no. Welcome back to Lustcast. I'm Tommy, and today I'm here with British porn star Lara Lee. Today we're going to be talking about how to date a sex worker. <laughs> So that's dating people like strippers, escorts, porn stars, any girl in the sex industry. I'm sure most guys have dreamed about that. So we're going to tell you about what it's really like and share some of our experiences. But before we get into it, please hit subscribe, follow us on social media, if we have any left, because we seem to be getting deleted everywhere. Make sure you follow on Spotify and Apple, because um, they seem to be a bit more forgiving of our content. So um Laura, how's it going? I'm very well, thank you. This is the second time I've been here. Yeah, your second podcast. Yeah, I know. The first one didn't go so well, did it? <laughs> I think it went amazingly well. Yeah, it did, but just the unfortunately the camera situation, wasn't it? Not- yeah, someone forgot to press record on the camera. Mm. Um, or the camera went wrong. I'm going to blame the camera, I think. Yeah. Well, maybe after they've seen this, maybe you could put that one up as an audio and I, then maybe yeah, no, we should, they'll, we be, um, I will. they'll be inclined to maybe listen to it. I'll even edit it and I'll give it to you so you can share it yourself if you like. So. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah. it was quite funny. When I did that, I felt so bad. I was like, oh, fuck. Because like, you've given your time up and then... It's fine. I was, I, I was like, oh, I'll come back. It's fine. <laughs> and then so I I'm think, here. And then I think you went for dinner. And then like in the evening, lots of my friends are messaging me. Oh, did you forget to press record, Tommy? <laughs> I was like, wow, news travels fast. Yeah. Be the <laughs> <laughs> so everyone is laughing at me. Um, but yeah, so you're pretty new to porn, I think. Well, yeah. So yeah, wow. Hmm. Well, two and a half years. Two and a half years now in the industry. So started just be- before lockdown. Um, oh, look at these lovely little pussy cats. They're the cutest. Oh, the cute, but they're getting in the way of your. Um... <laughs> oh, they're taking taking the limelight. Yeah, they're stealing the show. Oh God, knocking the blue cameras as well. <laughs> sorry. Okay? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, where were we? Where, where was I? Um, yeah, I started about two and a half years ago. Um, just beginning of lockdown. Hmm. Um, How did you get started? So I got out of a relationship. Um, nice. Well, about four, three, four years ago, I started stripping. And then I got in a relationship, stopped doing that. Because obviously I didn't like it. Um, about a year after that, I was like, right, I just want to, I want to get fully into this. I'm going to... If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do the whole, mm. I'm going to go for the whole thing. Um, and so I messaged one of the biggest producers in the UK, one of them um, at the time. And um, yeah, just sort of went from there really. And I was on Babe Station. Nice. First of all, yeah. So obviously obviously it was lockdown and that. I still managed to travel up to uh, Milton Keynes. Um, oh my God, he's going to press the... He's not I know, press the buttons. Like, <laughs> I don't know. They're not usually so obsessed when we're doing a podcast. Oh, but. it's me because I love I love them. I think they can say yeah, I love them. them. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I used to go up to Milton Keynes in the uh, middle of lockdown, which is quite fun. And on base station, so that for a bit, and then obviously things started opening up, and then I started chewing mm. porn. And that was for like private kilogram, a um, couple of solos I've done as well. Um, and a couple of other amateur companies. Um, and obviously then from there, and then here I am now. That's I'm cool. in Budapest, shooting for bigger ones. So that's good though. Quite so well. you've done different types of sex work. So yeah. stripping, like the more webcam, babe station thing. Yeah. And porn. Yeah, porn. Which is your favourite? Um, probably porn. I still do a bit of stripping now though. I still do it all sort of. Mm. I still do a bit of it all, really. Mm. Like when I'm in the UK, I do a lot of stripping at the weekends for stag do's oh, okay. and just like general 
boys birthdays so that's quite that's well, quite fun uh, how wild is stripping on a stag do because like- um well when it's me i tend not to go so wild because i'm not really that more i'm not really the dominant type well i try okay. to be one is a group of men you can't but when there's like two of us um we like to go wild on it there's a lot of spanking i spank them anyway when i'm on my yeah, own yeah. but um yeah it's quite wild we get them naked humiliate them shove little dildos up their ass it's all very um what yeah just have little dildos up their ass um at least you said little loads of things yeah put put it in their mouths oh um i remember one one time we went to one and this is when i first started doing it on the stag do's and you had to make up a stripper gram which is like your little routine okay so um you could be a police officer go and arrest them like tie them to the chair pull their pants down spank them um and one of the routines of another one that was there, she was saying she put lollies up her vagina and taking it out and putting it in his mouth while he was blindfolded. That was that was good. I, I, haven't, mean, I haven't done that one yet. Is that good? Maybe yeah. not good for the vagina. No, no, I don't know. Yeah, I don't she must have a yeah, lot of thrush. A bit of pH problems going <laughs> yeah. on down there, definitely. Um, but yeah, no, they do get quite wild. They're quite fun. Yeah, they're more than in a strip club then. Yeah, it's more guaranteed as well. Make more money after as well. Oh, really? Sort of go around, yeah, like do a one minute dance for like 30 quid. Just go around each other's stag. So if there's like 10 of them, it's like an extra 300 pound. It's not on bad. top, yeah. It's got three of, you've got three of them in the night. Imagine how much money you're making if you yeah. really put your head to it. Yeah, that's cool. So you do yeah. it with everything. Yeah. Okay. I love it. Yeah. And today we're talking about dating a sex worker. Yeah. So. You do a lot of dating or you do do a um, bit? Well, I try and do a bit when I can be bothered. Um, and do you like relationships? Or yeah, I feel, I, I'm a relationship. Well, I was I was sort of a relationship person. A relationship person? Yes, up until obviously I got into this sort of industry. Um, I but do was you think with, you can like have a relationship and do this job? Um, I... I think it's very sort of, there's, there's like, I don't know. I I haven't, I haven't succeeded yet. Let's just yes. say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're quite new as well, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite new to it all, really. But, um, yeah, no, I don't really, it really depends on the person you are, really. So have it? you found it hard to have a relationship? Def- um, I think so, yeah. I don't really think I've really put in the effort really okay. yet. Like, hmm. Yet, sort of. Um, so, why do you think it's hard? Obviously, because of my what you do, isn't it? It's not really good for. Um, if you if, imagine, I'm I'm with uh, with a man uh, who just works, say, works in office in London. Um, I'm going out every day, getting um. Well, not every day, but every going, day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People like to think that. Um, every day, and I'm having a different dick inside me, and going back to them, do you know what I mean? I don't think they can really take uh, take that, a lot some, of them anyway. Some guys like that. Yeah, some guys do. <laughs> yeah, I, I know a lot of guys that do like that, but, um, but I don't really think they're ready for a relationship, do you know what I mean? I think it's very British guys anyway. I oh, found, so you yeah. think if a guy likes that, maybe he's not good for a relationship. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be his fantasy. Yeah, but when it yeah, comes like to a relationship, kind of yeah. Guy. Yeah, obviously I haven't found that yet, but have I otherwise? I Would you want a cuckold kind of guy? Mm. Like where you humiliate him and... No, not no, really, no. no. <laughs> I like to be the more sort of... Um, I like to be more like dominated in the relationship. I'm more submissive, no. so... Yeah, definitely not that... Are you weird, but I, so when I'm with somebody, I want to be just with them. Mm. Obviously, my job, I see that just as my job. Yeah, but it's so hard it for guys to work, see yeah. that. It is hard for, for guys to see that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's hard for girls as well. Like when I'm dating people, oh, yeah, I, yeah. Um, they find it really, really hard to just understand that it's a job. And like, okay, it's fun, it's a fun job, but it's still work, it's still stressful. and tiring it's not yeah, like exactly. um, it's not like your yay work today <laughs> like, yeah exactly i'm like oh god yeah i got to go have another dick in me like <laughs> to be fair i'm not like that at all i'm like quite excited usually yeah i love the job but yeah, for I me it's it. like i'd rather like 
you know, go on holiday or go for dinner or to yeah, a party exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is still work, work <laughs> so, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, what about dating someone in the industry? I haven't tried that yet. Would you? Um, yeah, but I haven't really met anybody who's done it. Really, Do you know what I mean, I go to work not finding a relationship. That's why I'm not. That's probably why I haven't really found anybody in the industry. Yeah, but um. See, I, some people have different views on this. Like some people think you shouldn't date people in the industry because um, like for me, because like, I'm more of a producer paying models, I think if I date a model, it's kind of like a conflict of interest because maybe she's just dating me to get more work or maybe. Yeah, exactly. And I don't want her to like feel like she has to sleep with me because I'm a producer. Yeah. So it's like that, quite yeah. sketchy. But I think if you're like, say, porn stars dating other porn stars, maybe that's okay. I think most people do that. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. I've, I know a couple who obviously date in the industry and they're together in the industry. And it looks like a car crash, doesn't it, usually? Pardon? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> not all the time, yeah. Sometimes it, it is. Always like, if it's like, not, it is at the end. Yeah, <laughs> it is. They, like, don't, they don't expect they're going to get jealous, but they do. <laughs> like, yeah, they always do. Yeah. Like, yeah, as like, soon as they start dating, they like get this list of like, yeah, but you can't work with this person because I don't like him. Yeah, can't exactly. Yeah, yeah, you can't work with this guy, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? It's just like, damn, and usually sometimes they're the bigger ones, aren't they? Cause yeah, or that. guys go like, oh, can you just like only do lesbian scenes? Oh Which, my god! Yes, I know. Well, then I they know a continue of them. banging other girls. Yes, <laughs> I've I know a couple of them actually. I won't name names, but no, no, it's like it's a small business. We all know. Who. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's actually quite a big business, so <laughs> but it, it's quite interesting that concept, though, isn't it? Like, so, like, let's say you've got a really good friend in the business, mm -hmm. and you're dating a guy in the business, like your boyfriend. You're in love, and then he might be going to work where he has to fuck your best friend that that day yeah um to be fair if a lot of us if that's my best friend and that and that's that's him then do you know what I mean i think there should be that trust there shouldn't, shouldn't there, do you <laughs> yeah there should I mean? be the trust yeah. but it's still like a it's a funny feeling though, yeah isn't it? i think it'd, it'd be no it wouldn't be normal for you not to feel maybe something do you know what yeah. i mean but it's how you handle it isn't it yeah i had it where um i tried dating when i was quite new i tried dating a porn model and um, I remember her going to work with a guy that he was just a dickhead. And I was like, oh, this doesn't feel good. Yeah, you know? like, like, when's this day going to be just, over? Yeah, it's just, mm. just weird to think that someone you really actively dislike is having sex with someone you really like. Mm. Yeah, and exactly. they're going to come home to you and go like, Hi. Yeah, like I had a great time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Or like, worse, be like, oh, I had a horrible time. And it's like, Okay. yeah exactly yeah oh god um so complicated yeah it is i actually had when i first fully got into it so the end of the first oh god <laughs> um the end of the what was it first year so 2020 mm -hmm. um i got to i was seeing somebody for like five four five months roughly i think and he wasn't in the industry he used to sell property or something like that mm -hmm. and um yeah he just couldn't handle it but like I wasn't really doing that many uh, girl boy scenes then because it was like winter time and it's the UK as well there's hardly any work there mm -hmm. so it was really hard to find work um but I, <laughs> it was a couple of times I was just like yeah I'm just doing solos today oh, like, you lie yeah. to him. Oh. Like, I just didn't know what else to say to him but like he was he was a bit of a cock anyway I'm glad I, I used to wear makeup a lot like guy liner yeah literally it was like he lied like he said he had a he said he had his own like place but it was a show home with like one of those wooden TVs really yeah it was like no screen you know like it's like big like it, those playhouses you get and you can get like a TV set in there can't you mm. um it's and quite then, weird yeah no he didn't live in one of them he lived with his mum oh <laughs> yeah i don't know why i was with him for that long to be honest four <laughs> four or five months quite a long time isn't it and you said he handled it badly so how did he handle no, he things? just couldn't would he get like angry or? no he was just do you know what i mean he just he should have just ended it 
sooner. Do you know what I mean? Did he? He just waited until he was just like, I can't do this anymore. And then he decided to just go off with somebody else. Oh, okay. Yeah. You didn't have like some difficult conversations or. No, he was like, oh, maybe I could, maybe I couldn't. It was Mm. just very wishy washy, really. It was just a fucking mess. So. Yeah, how how did he feel? Like, were you doing porn when you started? Like, yeah, he knew it. So he knew. Yeah. So he liked. Yeah, it. the second. The second. He liked it. Until... Yeah, the second. I said, uh, when I meet people straight away, I'll tell them. Mm. Like, if obviously we're having a conversation, obviously if it's like a passing conversation. I'm like, yeah, just this. It depends how much I want to talk about my job, really. At the, the, the time, yeah. depends how much I want to say. So it's like I'm a model, or if I'm drunk, it's usually I'm a porn star. So, <laughs> but it's interesting, though, isn't it? That so, like at the beginning, he wanted it, mm. but then he changed. So, do you think he changed because he got feelings? I think they like the idea of it. Mm. They love the idea of it, and then feelings get involved, and then all of a sudden, those feelings change how they feel on the idea of it, and then that's when they can't handle it. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> sort of them things men men are strange creatures i know some people think sometimes that maybe it's kind of a bit like a trophy like oh i had sex yeah i've yeah i've had one of them um this was recently actually and he was just like um and you know what i was actually thinking yeah i I might stop doing what i do yeah just to maybe give you a chance which is what what the fuck was i thinking so you really liked him no yeah but he wasn't giving me the time of day so like do you mean i was a bit of a mug really it's always Um, like that though isn't it when they don't give you the attention you like start trying to change yourself yeah i was just like right what should i do i was just like maybe i was just solo and then he was just like i don't even want that to be honest he's just like i don't want anybody looking at my missus and then, wow, that's quite possessive. Yeah, isn't it? and then he decided to start trying to take my friends out on dates, and I was just like, "Well, you're going about this the wrong way, aren't you?" So yeah, that one ended while he was with you. Yeah, well, like it was like the day that like we sort of cut things off. And then he came out to where I was with my friends. I was like, "Why would you come out anyway?" Mm. I was very drunk, and then he was like chatting to my mates, like, "Yeah, do you want to go for a drink?" Then they were like, are you, "What are you doing?" Yeah, so, so weird. Yeah. I like. I, I admire the balls. Though. He's like definitely not my type. Yeah, and I don't know why. Honestly, all my friends are just like, "What the fuck was wrong with you?" And this Lara. thing of like, I don't want anyone looking at my missus. It's yeah, like, it's a bit of a red flag, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's just like it's you're even insecure. Like, but yeah. Anyway, at the end of this one, he was just like, "Yeah, you gave me a bit of a confidence boost." Really, I was just like. <gasps> Oh, that was a bit of a burn, wasn't it? Like, yeah. and you know for sure he would have like told his friends. Like, oh yeah, soon definitely. As, like... He definitely did. Yeah. Mm. So have like relationships or sex changed in any way for you since you started doing porn? Yeah. Well, as I said, I was with somebody just as I started, but before that, I was in an eight-year relationship with somebody so and from the age of 14 to 21 that ended just because obviously you change from that age don't you mm-hmm. um but i did learn a lot from that relationship like i just want peace <laughs> like yeah, that <laughs> relationship was very toxic um yeah from with my ex with my ex ex one of them um so yeah it was it's, um that sort of changed my sort of perception on relationships anyway then obviously joining the porn industry and industry in general has sort of opened my eyes a bit more like I can be more open I think than maybe people who aren't in the industry when it comes to relationships in what way open like sexually or yeah with, sex- with your feelings or? like um probably sexually i still try to keep my feelings at bay <laughs> so at the moment um when it comes to relationships, I don't like to scare people away. I think I find men get scared away when it when it comes to feelings, doesn't it? Don't they? I don't know. I I think it depends where you are. Like, mm, um, yeah, I don't know. Here in Hungary, I think I'm usually the one scaring people away with feelings. It's like people are quite. They take time to say any feelings here. Really, I find that with like British people. Yeah, well, British. we're we're very cold. I think. Yeah, definitely. British are very yeah. Cold. But I think men in general, anyway, when it comes to relationships, I think they like, they're hard. To, they find it hard to commit. I think the further east you go, the more cold they get, though. The more like stoic and reserved. Like, um, 
I remember when I was dating a Japanese girl and we had not an argument, but it should have been an argument. But instead of an argument, she was just like, I'm going to make sushi. And she just made sushi for three hours. Oh my goodness. Because she was so angry. Oh my goodness, I'd love to do that. she brought me some sushi and everything was fine. And I was like, what the hell is this? Like, where's the argument? Aren't we supposed to like fight and then deal with the problem? Not just bury it down, you know? Yeah, eat it away. Yeah. And I was like, okay, but... I well, that obviously didn't work. I was like, I've got suit. No, it was terrible. It was like, obviously the problems <coughs> came up again. And yeah. So yeah, I think further east you go, the more closed people get emotionally. Yeah. But in general, I'm yet to try not everybody. Any- I'm yet to try anybody further east. Yeah. So maybe like further to the right of England, maybe further to the right slightly. But that's about it at the moment. Mm. <coughs> I will broaden my, broaden my taste, I think. So did you find like the same problems, like with guys accepting you when you were stripping? Or is it different for stripping? Yeah, well, even now I look back and I'm like, stripping is nothing compared to this. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. I don't know though, because you're having like, <coughs> Sorry. So I can understand like maybe more jealousy with stripping because like, there's like, pretty high rolling clients isn't there that spend a lot of money on girls and mm. there's also like and you're meeting people you're getting close you're building a connection like i can imagine maybe guys get more jealous of that especially if there's like a guy that makes more money than them maybe is more attractive yeah they might be worried like, that um their girl's gonna go off with that guy yeah, sort of thing yeah yeah well to be when I, when I started stripping i just come out of a eight-year relationship so um yeah, that was, and to be fair, I did meet, I did meet my, my, my boyfriend who I was with for one year, um, the year before I obviously started porn, I met him while I was stripping, but obviously That's then cool. I started, he, he, he's adamant that he met me in a strip club, but I actually never met him in a strip club. <laughs> I met him on a night out, like years and years ago when I was with my ex, Okay, my ex-ex, and then like years later we actually got together, which is a bit odd. But you like but I was stripping again. at the time. I had to okay. stop. I had to stop. I did go stripping a couple of times though. Did you and ever date? Angry. <laughs> did you ever date clients in strip clubs? Um, I, I went back a couple of times. Yeah, for free as well. What's, what, what is actually wrong with me? I've got hair up my nose. It's okay. From your cats. Sorry. It's okay. Hang on. Because that's the dream, isn't it? To be able to go into a strip club and get a date with the stripper. Because like that's the fantasy they're selling that maybe yeah. you have a chance. Yeah, and definitely. everything is that illusion. But obviously, yeah. they need to make you believe to get you to part with your money. I was very sort of easily persuaded back then. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Like I was very sort of just like, you're like the, yeah, well, I'll come back with you. You're good looking. Like you're like the dream stripper. Yeah, well, I would say so. The easy one. Yeah, oh. I was just like, yeah, I'll go back with you. Yeah, you're the good nice looking. One, I'm thinking. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he even bought a dance off me in there either. Really? But I was very stupid when I first started stripping. I was drinking lots and I was partying, and I mixed that. I mixed, yeah, partying with working so it didn't really work in my favor only i've drank with strippers before and they're like the some of the only people that have just drank me under the table because oh really yeah yeah because they've got years of experience yeah of like drinking every night and strong stuff and yeah exactly yeah and i didn't unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah but um, yeah that was fun while it lasted but i prefer to go to my um guaranteed ones now because i go in there i'm like right give me the money now in i go 15 minutes leave done i work for my friend's companies actually down in where i live in the uk mm-hmm. down south um I've, I've a couple of my friends got a company and they and it's like strippers and that's so they just book me in so Every what advice weekend. do you have for guys that want to get a date with a stripper? How do they do it? Um, right, so my friend, she dances now at the club. Mm-hmm. She's given me a cu- cu- couple of stories and that. Um, 
that have taken them back and she's gone back with them. Um, she, you've got to pay them basically. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Even then, you're not guaranteed to sleep with them. So the more you so, spend, yeah, the more basically, likely it is to yeah. Because some people think, or that- it means you take their number, take the number and that, and then they'll start chatting to you. But the majority of the time, they are yeah, going to be playing you. They'll be. They are going to be playing you ninety nine point nine percent of the time, unless they're stupid like I was when I first started. Yeah, because I know a lot of strippers in Budapest, and they do give their number to clients just to keep them going. Yes, and definitely. And so they yeah. can like rinse them for gifts and things like that. Yeah, after as well and be yeah. like, can you send money to my account so then the club yeah, doesn't like, get the money? Oh, my child, I can't afford his school fees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make up a little sob story. Yeah. I personally can't do sob stories. Literally, I tried to before. I, I do it with like the, like the old ones, but So do you think I it's can't. better to spend a lot of money or maybe to spend no money and just be like... No, I'm too good for this. I think some strippers have like a certain time limit. They're going to talk to somebody mm. until they realise. Unless you're like, you know, some girls can like tell and just be like, right, if I work, really work on this one, I can get loads of money out of them. But um, I think maybe some of them have like a time limit. I don't yeah. know. Like, I think, especially in the club, like. I think the experienced girls can kind of like sniff out money. Yeah. Like they can see signs that. Also as well, we what are you doing know. going to a strip club if you're not buying a dance? To be fair, I do. I've, I go to the strip club and don't buy dances. But. Yeah, well, I don't know. It depends on the type of strip club. Like the ones with a stage and like more of a show where it's a bit more relaxed. Like if it's just like purely like geared towards lap dancing, I think no. But some are more like bars, right? Yeah, yeah, they're bars. Yeah, there's and a lot of them. Like the strip, the lap dances are like optional. Mm. I think as long as you tip the strippers on stage, you're fine, right? Really? Yeah, I don't really get any of them on, in the UK, the ones you like chuck money on stage. Yeah, it's different in Europe, I guess. Yeah, oh, is it? They still do that over here. Yeah, they do like more how much American style here. Yeah. So, like with a stage and you can hang out. I might have to go try that, you know. There's a good one here. Mm. We'll take you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe come back and do a podcast about that one. My experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I had a terrible experience there. Um, a girl used to work for me yeah uh my assistant and then she got a job in the strip club and i went there when i was drunk and i thought oh you know it'd be a really good idea would be to get like my former employee to like have a lap dance and i was like and she thought it was funny too and then we just had like the most awkward lap dance in the world oh really yeah, yeah. and we, we, we got there and we were like why did we do this? It just it was so uncomfortable. Oh, and, she no. and she kept going and I didn't stop her. And I just like sat there like. Yeah. <laughs> just like, oh dear, this is fun. Is so I've had one actually and it's a couple of years back here in there. She comes up and she's like, she starts wondering, like, oh my God, the smell. <laughs> like just the smell was just smell. something else. What yeah, smell? Just like go and freshen up, love. Like, oh, the guy? Yeah. No, the girl. The girl stripper. Oh, yeah, and it was like there, and I was like, "Oh no, oh. Like, oh, that is going to be hanging around well, for that's a the long thing. time." She's dancing all night. It's yeah, get you, I mean, go humid. freshen up, go get a yeah. flash wipe down there. Yeah, citrus, citrus. Yeah, do you know what I mean? That's probably the rest. That's probably what you need to get under that smell. Oh, oh hello! Wow, I just love your stripping. cat look. So when you meet guys now, do you like, when do you tell them that you do porn? Do you tell them Straight at the away, beginning? yeah. Do you generally meet girl, guys in public or like on Tinder and stuff? Well, okay. So I've got a little bit of a story. <laughs> so when I first came here the first Friday, I am, I, so I am on, I am on a couple of dating sites. I don't really use them to be honest because they're just boring. I'm so bored of them. Accommodating sites. No, dating sites. Oh, dating sites. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> um, uh, but I'm just so tired of the chat, to be honest. It's just so mm. much effort replying to people. How's your day? Blah, blah, blah. It's just so boring. I have like three copy and paste messages that I just yeah. send to everyone now. Mm. And usually when I'm in the UK, oh, oh do you actually? That's good. Yeah, but yeah. I find that I feel like, oh God, they must know that I'm sending this to every single guy. No, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm just like, look. I just it's just geared towards just having a coffee right? I just don't care about the chat yeah. I'd rather like meet someone for five yeah. minutes and have a coffee if yeah. I like the look of somebody really well I'll sort of maybe like right let's just cut to the chase like just cut yeah, 
quit the cut the chit chat what's your number where should we meet mm. sort of thing um but yeah no i sort of not really oh, dating so it's just boring um but and when i'm in the uk and i try and meet people i'm usually drunk it's usually my hometown and there's not really usually any new people and if they are they live far away <laughs> and it's just they're just not on my vibe um but the first friday i was here actually in budapest i was at um i was at the club in club here and um i met somebody and um not not that like anything's happening nothing nothing's going on mm-hmm. like but um yeah, I've seen him a couple of times now, and he, um, he's from he, he is from Italy, but he flew he flew over here the other weekend. Um, he was in London. I went to London to see him because he was went to a festival, and then I met him actually here. And I was just, um, Sounds like something's happening. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe a little bit, but I don't want to say too much just in case he watches this. <laughs> and like, um, and when did you tell him? Did you tell him right away about your job? Yeah, I told him straight away. He came up to me. I was actually at one of my agent's parties. Mm-hmm. She had like a little table booked. Um, and yeah, I was just stood there having a drink. Like I was quite sober actually. All of a sudden he comes up and I was just like, oh, hello, in his Italian accent. I was like, oh, hello, <laughs> you're nice. Yeah, and yeah, he managed to pick me up that night. I was only meant to be out for an hour. Mm. And I didn't go home until like eight, uh, eight, nine a.m. the next morning. Nice with no shoes. Like Where I did lost shoes my go? shoes ago. I lost my shoes. I don't know. But they were talking about um, when I met Such him. They were, talk- British they were girl showing, thing, isn't it? They're to showing go home it- with no shoes. I've never done it before. Or to like carry them or something. Yeah, well, I would have carried yeah. them if I'd had them. Um, I've got hair on the cat. Sorry. <laughs> so good. Um. Yeah, and they were showing me videos of them drinking beer out of a shoe. So I put two and two together, and I think they've definitely taken the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> but you would just never tell me, because I was just like, yeah, they were cheap ones. They're from Next. He took, you know, like Next? A, he took a trophy. Yeah, but who knows? I don't think he did. Maybe one of his friends did, and they just haven't told weird, him. There isn't it? Yeah, who knows? But I, I, I'm not really that fussed anymore. But yeah, no, I was still chatting. I chat to him every single day. And it's nice. So yeah, I don't want to say too much just in case he watches this. Aww. It'll be a bit embarrassing. No, it's cute. Yeah. And um, like but what's he's it fine. like? But he's fine with sort of what I do. I don't really talk to him about it. But That's like really I cool. said, nothing's really going on. So I don't really. Do you like watch your videos together? He likes to watch it. Yeah, really? he loves it. Yeah. Like when we, when we get, he, get, he gets drunk, he's just like, oh, can you show me all your videos, please? Show me all your homemade ones. He loves sitting there and just watching them. Which I don't mind. I can't watch them. I'm just like, yeah. oh. Like they're my worst ones that he seems to love. So he likes them with you with guys or yeah, just you? Like, yeah. No? But that's why I think like maybe it's not serious. Do you know what I mean? Why not? Imagine bringing a Paul star home to your mother. That was my next question. Is like, oh, what's it, it like when you meet parents? Oh, okay. So the only parent I met was that one that was like for four months and he was the one that wore makeup. It was his mum. Mm. And she found out because I was on FaceTime to somebody and it was just like, yeah, I shot this. And it was just like, look how big this is, blah, blah, blah. And I had that in, inside me today. And <laughs> she knew, said. yeah, and he, he told his mum that I was like, in London, I'm just a model. And then she just had two and two. And yeah, obviously I do porn. She didn't really mind, to be honest. But I don't really, I don't know if I come across as if I'm a porn star or not. Anyone can be, that's the thing. Yeah. A lot of people are like, oh, are you? Did she, Depends how I dress. Did she talk to you about the job? No, not so really. I'd love to see that conversation. Like after when she found out, is he was just like, oh my God, mum, yeah, she's born star, blah, blah, blah. But I, I'd love no. to hear the parents, like, maybe talking and having a cup of tea. Just going, oh, like a young Jeremy's yeah, well, dating a porn yeah, model. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Like, oh, yeah, my cup of tea. My mum's very supportive, actually, of it. Yeah? I show my mum a lot of my stuff. You show not, your no, mum? No, not like show her, but like <laughs> I'll show her some of the things. Like when, when I had my first BBC, he was led there and is, is literally like that up in the air. And I had to just take a picture and send it to her. She's like, oh, wow. <laughs> like, but I'll send her some of She's like, yeah, lovely, darling. Or they'll accidentally upload it to Facebook, to my personal page. What? And my fa- not like, not like, but it'll be like me and long as you're me with my ass and stuff like that. But 
everybody knows what I do, really. How do you get away with accidentally uploading porn to your I Facebook? I don't. It's not porn. Ah. It's not porn. Yeah. It's just a bit sort of like if you're an old, if you're an older person. Or Didn't like, you if you've say, known me since I was like three, then you're going to be a bit shocked to see me in lingerie, mm. like <laughs> with a whip sort of thing. You were about to date some brothers or something before. <gasps> oh yeah, they're ones. Oh, they're my friend. Yeah. One of them's like one of my best mates. But like we did used to, well, we, we slept with each other. Um, I'm upset because he's seeing somebody now but um, he also has a brother and I was just like yeah I want both of you and obviously I got friendly with the brother as well but I've never actually had them oh but is that the plan yeah that I'd, yeah well I'd like that but I don't think it would happen they're not yeah, down for it yeah because I mean imagine them both like doing it and then them like accidentally catching eye contact each end I just feel yeah, a little bit there's going to be some skin gonna contact remember. maybe sometimes as well yeah and maybe like, yeah would it be more awkward if it's your brother or less awkward I don't know no it's more awkward it's more incest isn't it but like, as long as you say at each end it's fine but just try not to have eye contact no eye contact is it yeah it's legal isn't it because they're not interacting with each other um i think so i don't really i haven't really thought about that let's not <laughs> i haven't really thought about whether it's legal I think or it's not legal yeah definitely because yeah. i think it's not like they're getting it on with each other they're just both getting it on with you so it's fine yeah exactly as long as they don't touch each other it's fine is it a fantasy Imagine for most girls like to like have like a hot brothers? no i don't know like i've, I've always like loved like set of twins yeah, twins is a big one. Yeah, guys, isn't it? yeah, twins. Oh, yeah, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Just like, I just love threesomes with two men in general, anyway. Mm. I think they're so fun. You just get all the attention. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you like girls? Do you date girls? No, no, not girls now. No. I'm fully straight, I think. I do like. I do like scenes with girls and stuff like that, but mm. when it comes to relationships, no. So, well, I'm like bi, bi sort of curious. So I wouldn't have a, I yeah, wouldn't have a relationship not. with a woman. You're not squeamish. You'll have a go, but it's not. Like yeah, it's thing. not my favourite. No, yeah. I'd rather have a dick down my throat. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> um, are there any perks of dating a sex worker? Yep, I think I'm really good in the bedroom. You've got you've got experience with me when I'm sober, though. <laughs> like, yeah, honestly, if I'm drunk and loud, honestly, it's just no, 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 no. I'm not very good. What's but, a yeah, drunk no, performance I'm, like? Pardon? What's like, your drunk performance like? Well, I'd say it's still good. It's just not my top performance. Like, I've got a little routine that I do. Do you know what I mean? I really sort of get it. Like, I know how to really sort what, of like. Could you take me through your routine step by step, please? <laughs> okay, right. So, if, um, yeah, if I'm sorry, I'm like. Obviously, I'll like take their pants off and I'll start really g giving them a good old, like really like e um, teasing them with a blowjob, like rubbing my tongue up and down mm -hmm. their dick and stuff like that. Uh, the key thing with the blowjob is make it really sloppy and wet. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, if you're with that, if you don't like spit, just fucking sit on a towel. Like, <laughs> on, just fucking, yeah. If you're worried about your sheets getting dirty, well, like, just sit on a fucking towel. Take your fucking whole boxes off. Do you know what I mean? This shit's about to get wet and wild. <laughs> um, <laughs> and obviously they'll try and like get, grab my head and I'm like, no, 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 no. You just need to let, just trust the process. Okay. Trust the process. Like, um, yeah, and I'll literally just give them a really good blow drop. I can't really explain anymore. I love how you're getting a little bit embarrassed. Yeah, I know. Don't you know why? You have to see it. You have to see it. You have to see it to believe it. Okay. I haven't really done any blowjob videos. Maybe I'll do that on my OnlyFans. Mm. I'll do some good blow. I've got this suction dildo, so I'll do some good blowjob dildos. No, blowjob videos. And what's uh, one your, of my um, One of my tips, though... Um, to really get the guy going with a blowjob, hang your head off the back of a bed and it goes straight down. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody should know that one. It looks a bit wrong as well, so it's kind of hot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but no, I think I'm really good with blowjobs. And never, do you, I mean, if the guy's facing you and it's up, it's hard. Sorry, <laughs> it's really hard for you to get the dick down. So if you turn your body and you've got your ass like by his head, like basically 69, it's yeah. so much easier for the cock to go down your throat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 
Good advice. And like <laughs> swell the tongue. So how do you rate your sexual skills out of 10? Blowjob skills, I think 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay, I will be checking the internet later. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I think 11 out of 10. Impressive. Mm. I'll check I bet it out. When, I'm better when I'm like, when it's like, obviously, when you're on your own with somebody and it's like porn, I don't think it's really that. It's a different really, environment, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's a different it's environment. It's not about the feeling, it's about how it looks as well in porn. So yeah, exactly, different. yeah. Yeah. And do you think there's like a downside of dating a sex worker? Like, do guys like worry about sexual health and things like that um yeah well that's that's, you've got to worry about sexual health don't you really but i think maybe it is probably a bit safer like a lot of my people who don't do sex work a lot of people i know don't do sex work they they rarely get tested Mm. well also i got tested just like three months ago and it's just like oh god i mean i'd I'd rather be getting tested every two weeks like every month sort of thing especially in especially in the industry yeah, and the key thing is but I suppose that, for people who who aren't in the industry, it is it's yeah. different. They don't need to get tested unless they like to sleep around. No, because they actually do. Because often they might be loyal, but their partner won't be. Oh yeah, they'd be so just like, like mm. it's a, like if you just get tested regularly. I suppose so as well. If you're with me, if you like have a relationship with somebody who's in this industry, when they get tested, you can be like, right, yeah, you're all good as well. Yeah, so it's like a vicarious test. You're yeah, like, it's just like you're, you're okay on testing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, if, and you know you're fine every month. You've sort of got that out of your mind, haven't you? Yeah, it's so important now. I just don't understand mm. why more people don't just go, even like just every three or six months or something, go for a test. Yeah, but people don't. Like, um, yeah, like, oh, like, yeah. A lot of girls I date, I take them to the lab for their first ever test. And it's what a, do you like to tell them? Oh. Yeah, I take them. I want them clean. Because Budapest is, it's not a clean city for sexual health. Yeah. Because there isn't really, most people just do like home tests. They don't get tested for everything. So there's like a lot of syphilis and um, gonorrhea, mycoplasma, because they don't test for it. Even in porn, they don't test for it now. Mm. You have to ask them for like, for the mycoplasma test, because so many people have it there's no point testing for it Mm. i think like no one would pass the test Mm. so there's a lot of stuff here because of like bad sex education and people not getting tested but but there's a good lab here now though so every girl i date straight to the lab (laughs) so i go with them sometimes yeah yeah it's funny one girl said she um she i think i can't remember the story but she said she tested positive for chlamydia in the past but the guy she was dating was a virgin and i'm like well obviously he wasn't a virgin if he gave you chlamydia yeah exactly what? <laughs> like, but she would couldn't comprehend the idea that he'd been dishonest with her she was like no he was a virgin like he didn't cheat on me i'm the only person he slept with because he said like but you got chlamydia Exactly, he's lying. He's definitely lying. Yeah. <laughs> Have you not met a liar before? Like, I know, especially when you like get the certificate saying like, yeah, you need medicine because like, your partner's been cheating on you. Like now, just leave it. Like what? And she's like, no, it can't be. I must have got it some other way. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, like me, Yeah, what from a toilet seat? Yeah. Can you, can you get that from a toilet seat? I don't think you it's can. It's a myth. It's a myth. Yeah. You can get it from like um, kissing, like. That sort of thing in your throat, I think. Like yeah. chlamydia and gonorrhea is like really contagious. So yeah, when you have like an eye yeah. infection or things like that, it's often gonorrhea or chlamydia. Just mm. we call it like a sore throat if it's in our mouth, and we call it chlamydia if it's in our downstairs. Oh god! I think to make it sound more scary, but it's just bacteria. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you do need to get it fixed though, because yeah, it can cause do. serious issues, especially for if girls. untreated. Yeah, yeah, if left untreated. Yeah, but yeah, I wish people would be more understanding of how testing makes. Oh my god, your cat just farted. No, he was. That wasn't a fart. What was it? That was his nose. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I thought you just farted. He wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what he wants to be cut strokes. He lie. Sorry. 
I said, do you get a lot of guys trying to date you in your DMs? Yeah, quite a lot, actually. Quite a few. Yeah. You ever, does that ever work? No, not really. Take a look at it. Not up, really, man. sounds like, sometimes. I, yeah, I don't really have the time, to be honest. I don't mm. have the time. So, it's like, and usually the ones who are in my DMs are not very good looking. They're like the old, weird, strange. You haven't had any, like, um blue tick like a celebrity yeah type, i've had a few into, yeah yeah haven't we all though yeah i've had quite a few actually you weren't tempted yeah, some of them i don't know who they are but they've got a blue tick yeah but yeah a couple of them have probably what couple yeah maybe three of them are probably well known very well known and did you <laughs> pardon did you no i've never met them you weren't no. interested no 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 just no one of them um what are they known he for? got annoyed huh what are they known for? I are can't they? really say. <laughs> <laughs> um, football. <laughs> no. football. It's always no. footballers, yeah, isn't it? Not footballer. Fo- footballers are so not horny. Footballer. Not a footballer. Uh, well, not football. He was not a footballer, but he might have played, played the odd match. But he's something to do with football. I don't want to be oh. too, I'm very vague. Oh, so like a presenter? Mm, yeah, along them lines. Something. Okay. No, not even a presenter. No, not even. Presenter. Um, a referee. Yeah, somebody who's on TV programs. Um, no, I'm just teasing. You don't have to name anyone. Yeah, no, I'm not going to name and shame. Don't worry. I mean, I, I'd like no. you to, but yeah, I'm no, just I'll tell you after. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you after the camera's off. Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, no, that. Yeah, I haven't really met any of them. One of them, I, yeah, one of them I met. Um, I didn't meet. Sorry, actually, I did meet Winter Wonderland uh, in London, which is. Um, it's on at Christmas and it's just like just go there and get drunk and I saw him there and that's the first I saw drunk. him but before he like he pied me off because he had to take his mum to the dentist what? so yeah that was a good pie but to be fair I was I, I, didn't, I couldn't be I asked anyway I was just I was finishing Babe Station in London I just wanted mm-hmm. to go home and he was like yeah well come meet me in central London on the way through and I was just like no and then he fobbed me he pied me off anyway to take his mum to the dentist so this is a weird question, but so on the last podcast, we had um, a kind of semi-retired porn producer. He's like in his 70s. And his opinion on people that date porn stars is that they're either brave or stupid. Um, and this is his opinion, not mine. Really? I, I argued that porn stars are very normal. And he said that anyone that does porn is utterly crazy. Really? And what does he do? Porn. He said he's utterly crazy as well, to be fair. He said we all are, like me included. <laughs> so To be fair, I don't even know. You can't really answer to things <laughs> so, like that. Cause all so the, like, do you know what I mean? That's what they want. They want They want an answer to it, so I'm not going to answer to that. Do you know what I mean? There's no like point. A, but do you think... Well, somebody that, who thinks like that, there's no point even wasting your breath trying to change their yeah. mind. They ain't. They just ain't. Is there. Yeah, I think I, you need I, to have that sort of opinion. In this yeah, industry. I think people that do porn are like, some are crazy, but yeah, some, some accountants are. are crazy. Yeah, some like girls a, are crazy. I'm not going to lie, yeah. do porn, yeah. Yeah, but some, got, but some of everybody's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm like, crazy as well, do you know what I mean? I'm crazy, but I'm not like, I wouldn't say people yeah, you're who like date porn. Person. Person. Yeah, I'm a normal like, person. Yeah, it's nothing bad being... Yeah, I just wanted to address it because... Yeah, but no, that's funny. Like, Everybody has an opinion though, doesn't he? I'd love I'd love to have a it, podcast it, with him and me, actually. That'd be that fun. That would be very funny. Yeah. It's just funny as well because it's someone... I saw that actually. Someone of in our it. industry saying that we're all crazy. Mm. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, exactly. It's just like, what? Pot calling kettle black, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted your opinion on that because I, I, you know... Like, do you think it's a good idea for guys to date a sex worker? Or do you think maybe maybe it's easier for most people just to not to? Um, it depends what you're like, really, isn't it? If you really can't handle it, just say you can't handle it. Don't, like, try and, oh, I might have my feet, dip my feet in this a little bit. Mm. Like, if you don't like it, if you have a smidge feeling that you don't like it at the beginning, like, you're, not, you're definitely not going to like it as things progress. Yeah, most guys are going to get pretty crushed aren't they yes and pr- it's, pretty jealous. It's so jealous just be honest at the beginning broken. if you if you if you like the idea of it but you think oh but now nah, i don't know if i'd like my girlfriend do it just just save our time just don't waste our times please mm. and just tell us that it's not for you 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you, I'm going to start sending invoices out from time waste, time wasted. Do you ever find that guys are intimidated by you sexually? Yeah, I've had one before. What happened? Yeah, and I was like, and he was actually went to school with him, and um, he, like, I was with him, and he was just like, I'm like, I was just like really sort of open with him, and he was just like, I was showing him my videos. And he was like, he sat there and he actually told me, he was just like, he was like, you do intimidate me, you know, a little bit. And I was just like, okay. But he was able I? to perform and everything. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So yeah. I've heard it like um, with some girls that a lot of guys they meet, they just can't get hard because they're just intimidated and they're worried about like how they're going to compare to the professionals, you know. Yeah. Oh God, no. You yeah. Well, that. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, I think there was a little bit of that as well. Mm. But um, no, I think. Do you know what I mean? Not professional. Not every professional is good. That's true. Do you know what I mean? You're there to you're there to make it look good. It doesn't necessarily feel good. Yeah, but I mean, the guys watching, they don't know that, do they? they no. Don't, yeah. They yeah. They don't yeah. realize that no, most exactly, of the guys are injecting yeah. their dicks. Yeah, they inject. It's they like, like stop, dick start, pump. Yeah. And stop, edited. start editing. Yeah. Honestly, we're sweating. It's just. Yeah. 13 hour days sometimes. But it's all worth it. I love it. Yeah. So as a guy, I get the opposite problem to that. So sometimes I'll meet girls and they'll think that I know all about sex. Like I'm some sort of sex god because I must be. Yeah. Because I do this think job. I do as well. Like, this, or like they've got yeah. two higher expectations of me. Yeah. And they're like, so disappointed but, when it's just normal sex. Yeah. It's like, Oh, that was kind of vanilla. yeah. I want you to do like, I want you to do backflips, like yeah, like they they think yeah, we're like, gonna have this sort of, some sort of secret move that normal people don't know. Yeah, exactly. Or like, yeah, they'll know. Oh, it's just like wait a bit, just wait a bit. Like we'll get a little bit more. We'll explore things yeah. as we go. Yeah, like, well, sometimes I, I feel think. like they think there must be some sort of like place to touch them on their body that no one else has touched them before. Yeah, exactly. And I'm and they're like, oh my God, and they're going to put their fingers inside me and go somewhere that nobody's ever touched. Like, yeah, mm. it's, no, it's not like that. But I've disappointed some people before. Definitely. Oh really? Yeah. Just like, oh, there wasn't any did, magic did, there would move. Be, there would have been no way to match their expectations. It just would have been impossible, you know? Yeah, you could just see like how excited they were. And, you like, just like maybe just let them down at the beginning. <laughs> like, yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> no, yeah, now I probably would. I would be like, but in the past, I was like, well, she's really hot, so <laughs> might as well disappoint another one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, just, yeah. Well, I think as long as it's good, do you know what I mean, do you know I mean, their expectations shouldn't. Yeah. Just don't expect anything too much. Yeah, it's just normal. I mean, I'd like I like men to bring something to the table. Actually, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I, I like to tell men if I, I'm, they're not doing something right. That's good, though. I'm like, like I no, wish more this, girls I'm like, this is shit. You say this yeah, is and, shit. And they're like, they'll be like, what's a doggy? And I was just like, and I was like, that's really shit, by the way. <laughs> I was just like, honestly, I was just like, Oh, I was like breathing now. I was like, oh, I was like, honestly, I was like, this is really rubbish. So I was just like, stop going. Like, stop doing the movement like that and yeah, do it like how this. How would you feel if you were doing a blowjob and the guy said, this is shit, by the way? Like, I'd be like, oh my God, is it? Shit, what am I doing wrong? Tell me now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd be like, come on, then show me, show me how you think it'd be better. Because to be fair, I don't think anybody yeah. would tell me that my blowjob shit. So you're <laughs> like a really direct person and you can just handle that. But I think a lot of people can't. Like, um, no, they might not be able to. I'm, I'm sure very... if you say to a guy, this is shit, he's going to have some yeah, mental like, oh, scars on, the next time like, he's with someone. I'm like, this is shit. This is a bit rubbish. Like, ooh. And do you tell them what to do? And I'm like, just don't do that. Do this. <laughs> okay, that's good. Though. I think that's better. And I'm so. like, let's go in this position instead. Like, I'm not like, right, stop now and then like walk off. Yeah, you know I'd, I mean? be, I'd be absolutely mortified. I've done that before and then it's got to still set them again after it's been shit. It's really? been better. But I've told them it was shit then. And like, they've got been like stubborn and not stopped the way they're going because they don't want to. Do you give them like a rating after? Like a score? No, no, no I don't no. have like, no, I don't, I, I don't have a list, unfortunately. No. I've, um... I've actually run out of, run out of hat. I don't know how many people it's been. <laughs> We've uh, talked about that though. I heard a guy that um, has a spreadsheet of every single time he has sex. 
any but like when it happened where it happened and then he writes some notes about things he did good things he did bad what he could improve on yeah just like oh my just god he's like Bloody kind of sex yeah. diary i know some girls like that as well they just puts it in her calendar and you know, it's a really like, good idea to like for content isn't it and just write about it and be like right i'm gonna write this out yeah. And explain every time I have sex with somebody. Some people do that. There's people that have sex. But I'm not diaries. very good at writing stories, so I don't think you need to be good. It's just no, about, right, like it'll just sound like you. I just you know? went and gave him a blowjob at the end. <laughs> like, yeah, that you need a bit yeah, more colour. Yeah, he that. picked me up at the club. I went back to his and yeah, that's his history. So you've been um quite busy, it sounds. Sounds like. What? Working. You said um, not to go into the the number of guys you've been with. Yeah, no, we won't go into that. Yeah, I've been quite busy. Do you know the number? No, I don't. More in porn or more in private? Porn or private, I just say. Yeah, I just go on a little bit of a mad one a couple of years ago. Hmm. But um, yeah, God, I did have a list. I remember it was like an A4 bit and it was like... But do you you regret it? One, two, and it was like two... It was um, two rows front and back. And then obviously <laughs> there's been loads more since then. Some of them I regret. Like some of them I've done on, um, I think it was but like 23. Feel, do you feel ashamed of the number though? No, not okay. at all. Not at all. That's good then. That's good. My vagina is still lovely and tight. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think they're related. It's, like, it's such a myth. I hate when people say Yeah, that. I like, know. Like, and I've oh, had you'll some, wear out your pussy. I've had some big dicks in there as well. So it's very, like, I can't even fit two fingers in there sometimes. Hmm. Well, some guys can, but I'm like, oh, no, no more. No more, please. <laughs> or I'm like, oh, it's a little bit too tight. But yeah. My God. So this will get us deleted from the other social networks. Yep. That yeah, we will, yeah. Been trashed on I'm glad already. to have been on the podcast though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, to do with dating and... Uh, okay, so what a little conclusion. Conclusion would be if you're in the industry, um, basically not set your hopes on really relationships if you really want to do good in the industry, do you know what I mean, just do you sort of thing. Don't look for it. If something happens, it happens, doesn't it? And, and for um, the ones who want to date porn stars, um, don't do it unless <laughs> just don't go near oh. them. Oh God, sorry. Clicking things. Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. Um, don't do it unless, um, if you've got any niggle of doubt, just, just don't even go there. Just don't waste our times. Although, uh, because honestly, I think we should start doing invoices. <laughs> the amount of time I've, that I have wasted. Yeah, you know what you should do? Like when you're dating guys, get a deposit. Yes. And if it, if they can't handle it, you keep the deposit. Mm. Like you give them like a six months or something. Yeah, no, I like to just sort of send them. They like, get think it back I'm going to send you an invoice now. I've never done it, but I wonder if they'd actually pay me though. You know. i um, try it. Yeah, I think it's like a like a tip. Yeah, you know? <laughs> a tip. Like, can I have my tip, please? I What's had that, that like? What's I like that a thousand once. pounds an hour? <laughs> I had that once. I had a girl. Um, I was like, we were walking to like get breakfast in the morning, and she was like, "Could I have some pocket money?" <laughs> I was like, "What pocket money?" Like, sorry, <laughs> my daddy. <laughs> that was That's so weird. Pocket money, blimey. Yeah, I was like. Oh, is that what this was? Just like, did you give her it? No. How no. did you say no? I just said I feel uncomfortable. I, I didn't weird. even have breakfast with her. I was just like, maybe we should go. Yeah, like let's just <laughs> like, go. Yeah. Oh, me, that's hilarious. Yeah. So let's wrap up. So, yep. um, where can people find you? Right, I'm on Instagram, Life of Lara Lee. Um, my Twitter is Lara Lee nine five X. And from there, you will find all my OnlyFans. But unless you want to go to my OnlyFans now, it's OnlyFans.com slash Lara dash Lee. And yeah, come and chat to me on there. Is it good? Yeah, yeah it's good. It's got all my nitty gritty home homemade stuff on there. So and people can rate your blowjob skills on there. Yeah, you'll be able to see them on there. Yeah, yeah. That's all my all my blowjob ones on there actually. But I will be doing some more. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. Again. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, again. <laughs> well, please tell me you recorded. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs>